Listen, let your heart keep seeking. Listen to His constant speaking. Listen to the Spirit calling you. Listen to His inspiration. Listen to His invitation. Listen to the Spirit. Calling you. He's in the sound of the thunder, in the whisper of the breeze He is in the might of the whirlwind in the roaring of the sea Listen let your heart keep seeking Listen to his constant speaking Listen to the spirit calling you Listen to his inspiration, listen to his invitation, listen to the spirit calling you. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, I offer this Mass for the following intentions. Archdiocese of Kolkata, for the departed soul of Francie Anthony, first death anniversary, offered by daughter Sunita. Mangalore, Thanksgiving Mass, for saving them from Corona and for all the favors received. For special intentions for restoration of job, offered by Ivan, Wilma, Delan, Montero, Kenneth, Andrea, Kira Sequera, Archdiocese of Hyderabad, for the departed soul of Rosaline Domingo on her third death anniversary. Rosaline Domingo on her third death anniversary, Mass offered by family members, offered by family. On the occasion of birthday of Pearly Magdalene, for good health, good future, offered by Fatima Joseph. Rita Joseph and family members. In a special way, we offer this Mass for the following intentions and ask God's mighty blessings as well. Let us pray for our own special needs as we honor especially St. Anthony of Padua. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, very often we desire to become a disciple of Jesus. And many times we also reflect who is a disciple. And today we are going to listen to who is a disciple. A disciple is one who listens to God speaking and he talks to God. And secondly, a disciple is the one who does the will of God, the Father. And a disciple is the one who gives preference to God alone in his life and in all his decisions. And with these thoughts, let us also reflect. We always say that we are following Jesus and we say we are disciples. Do we have these qualities that I mentioned? Whether we are truly his disciples. The moment we fall into sin. The moment we give preference to devil and all its evil actions. We are no longer Jesus' disciples. Let's recall to mind our failures and sins. And ask God's pardon and mercy.
I confess to Almighty God and, and to you, my brothers, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Show favor, O Lord, to your servants, and mercifully increase the gifts of your grace that made fervent in hope, faith, and charity. They may be ever watchful in keeping your commands. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Cast all our sins into the depths of the sea. First reading, a reading from the book of prophet Micah, chapter 7, verses from 14 to 15 and 18 to 20. Shepherd thy people with thy staff, the flock of thy inheritance, who dwell alone in a forest in the midst of a garden land. Let them feel in Bashan and Gilead as in the days of old. As in the days when you came out of the land of Egypt, I will show them marvelous things. Who is a God like thee, pardoning iniquity and passing our transgressions for the remnant of his inheritance? He does not retain his anger forever, because he delights in steadfast love. He will again have compassion upon us. He will tread our iniquities under foot. Thou wilt cast all our sins into the depths of the sea. Thou wilt show faithfulness to Jacob and steadfast love to Abraham, as thou hast shown to our fathers from the days of old. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. Responsorial Psalm, let your response be, Let us see, O Lord, your mercy. Let, let us, us see, see, O Lord, your mercy. O Lord, you once favored your land and revered the fortunes of Jacob. You forgave the guilt of your people and covered all their sins. You averted all your rage. You calmed the heart, you calmed the heat of your anger. Your response, let us see, O Lord, your mercy. Let, let us see, see, O Lord, your mercy. Revive us now, God, our helper. Put an end to your grievance against us. Will you be angry with us forever? Will your anger never cease? Your response. Let us see, O Lord, your mercy. Let, Let us see, see, O Lord, your, your mercy. mercy. Will you not restore again our lives, that your people may rejoice in you? Let us see, O Lord, your mercy, and give us your saving help. Your response. Let us see, O Lord, your mercy. Let us see, O Lord, your mercy. Please stand for the gospel acclamation. things bright and beautiful, all creatures great and small, all things wise and wonderful, the good God made them all. All things bright and beautiful, all creatures great and small. All things wise and wonderful, the good God made them all. Each little flower that open, each little bird that sing, 
made their glowing colors he made their tiny wing all things bright and beautiful all creatures great and small all things wise and wonderful the good god made them all all things bright and beautiful all creatures great and small all things wise and wonderful the good god made them all the lord be with you and, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to st matthew glory, glory to, to you, you o god, god. Gospel according to St Matthew chapter 12 verses from 46 to 50 While Jesus was speaking to the people behold his mother and his brethren stood outside asking to speak to him but he replied to the man who told him who is my mother and who are my brethren and stretching out his hand toward his disciples he said here are my mother and my brethren for whoever does the will of my father in heaven is my brother and sister and mother the gospel of the lord to you o lord jesus christ my dear brothers and sisters in christ jesus these days we see young people and especially youth and students those who get used to city culture and city atmosphere the way of dress the food that we eat the friends that we meet and the places that we go though we come from village we get used to city and urban culture and suppose from village your elderly parents are coming to see you in city and they will call you and say a son i am coming to see you uh, will you be comfortable asking them okay please come to city and see me will you be comfortable no the reason is you know they come from village they wear dhoti or lungi or they are you know they are very poor clothing they may not be looking very posh and you say to your friends that you come from very good background good culture or from a rich family background and then here if your father or mother comes looking like a villager then you are not comfortable or sometimes you don't even introduce that this is my mother or this is my father but my dear brothers and sisters today jesus is also asking the same question who is my mother and who are my brethren but not the context that i gave you you know there was a professor and this professor was asking the students can you define me a miracle then one student said sir miracle is what human beings can't do if god does it then that is a miracle very simple definition and it is very right another boy said sir miracle miracle is to know the will of god and to do the will of god or to practice the will of god is miracle that was looking very strange but that was also a fantastic answer the boy said in our own village all people believe that miracle is to know the will of god and to do the will of god is my dear brothers and sisters today jesus is saying whoever does the will of my father is my brother 
sister and mother. Matthew chapter 12 verse 50. So doing the will of God is to belong to Jesus' family. We are belonging to God's family. We are belonging to a family of faith. So my question for you is, do you want to become, do you want to belong to God's family? Do you want to be a member in Jesus' family? Yes or no? Yes, all of us. And so what we need is to do the will of God. Then definitely we are in God's family. And that's why whoever is in God's family, whoever is doing the will of God, they have this inclusiveness. They don't discard others. They include everyone. They are not selfish. And they, they don't despise others. They want the poor people, the needy, and everyone to be their friends. So if you are belonging to God's family, then you include everyone, whoever is suffering, whoever is poor, and whoever is struggling in life, everyone is in the same family, family of Jesus. So doing the will of God is being in the family of Jesus, my dear brothers and sisters. That's why in this context, there was a, there was a young man, very rich, and this man was building a very nice house. Very cozy, beautiful, magnificent, and very nicely looking house. And as he was busy constructing this house, a stranger comes to him and says, Sir, please help. The world is on fire. Lord, Sir, please help. The world is on fire. And this man says, No, don't you see? I am busy building my house. I can't help you, please go. And this man takes three years to build his house. As he was about to complete his house, the fire reached his house. And the fire engulfed his house. The beautiful house that he built was, was destroyed in fire. So he was only selfishly thinking about himself. He was not thinking about others. So my and I, selfishly, he was bothered about himself. He was not thinking about others. So a person belonging to God, a person who does the will of God, includes everybody. Even the poor, the downtrodden, the strangers, everyone, my dear brothers and sisters. So today, why Mother Mary is the perfect disciple? The reason is, today Jesus is saying, whoever does the will of my father is my mother, brother and sister. And here, when mother Mary and brothers come, says, who is my mother and who are my brethren? This is not a question, but this is a confirmation that so and so is my mother and so and so are my brothers, my sisters. So my dear brothers and sisters, this is not just speaking about Mother Mary. The context is Jesus is speaking about discipleship. A person who does the will of my father is the perfect disciple. And pointing to Mother Mary, he is saying, here my mother is the perfect disciple. And why she becomes perfect disciple? Why any disciple becomes perfect? There are three reasons. One is doing the will of God. The first thing required for a disciple is to do the will of God. Luke chapter 1 verse 38. Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. Let it be to me according to your word. So this is what Mother Mary said at Annunciation. I am the servant. I am the handmaid. Let it happen as God wishes. And so she is perfectly following the will of God. And therefore, she truly becomes the disciple and a role model for other disciples. And secondly, Luke chapter 2 verse 19, there Mother Mary says, 
Mary pondered everything in her heart. So sometimes Mary does not understand the will of God, the plan of God, but yet she ponders and submits to the will of God. And that is the beauty of a disciple. So these two things make Mother Mary as a perfect disciple and she becomes the role model for even other disciples. Secondly, who is a perfect disciple? Here, Mother Mary and brethren, they were waiting to talk to Jesus. The disciple need to have time to talk to Jesus, to listen to Jesus. Then only we become perfect disciples. So that is the second quality. And Mother Mary had time. Mother Mary was there talking to Jesus at Cana. Mother Mary was there talking to Jesus when, when, when Jesus was on the cross. So Mother Mary was talking and therefore she is a truly disciple and a role model even for other disciples. The third quality of a disciple is detachment. So here Jesus is asking, who is my mother? Who are my brethren? So here he is pointing the physical family should get less importance in comparison to God's family. The spiritual family and physical family. Family of faith and family of blood. So family of blood should get import less importance in comparison to God's family. Family of faith. So this is why it says, who is my mother and who are my brethren? So here, Matthew chapter 10, verse 37. Whoever loves his father, mother, daughter, son, more than me, is not worthy of me. So in this context, the perfect disciple should have that detachment. The perfect disciple should have time to talk to Jesus. And the perfect disciple should know the will of God and to practice. These three things should, will really make us, all of us, perfect disciples. So therefore, today, my dear brothers and sisters, Let's uh, ponder our own life. We always say we are truly followers of Christ. We are truly disciples of Christ. But do we have these three qualities? Are we following the will of God? Are we listening to God who is speaking to us? And then do we have this detachment from the worldly ties? Amen. Let's all stand and surrender all our petitions, all our intentions. God only Father, I surrender our Pope, our Cardinals, our Bishops, our Priests, religious men and women and all the catechists. Lord, wherever they are doing your work of evangelization, be with them. And if they are facing some difficulties and hardships, may you show them solution. May you find them way that they may faithfully and fruitfully do your missionary work. For this grace we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, I surrender this Divyavani TV and all its personnel and all those who are donating and the, all those who are charitable in kind and through their prayers. I also surrender today, this morning, this afternoon, all our brothers who have different intentions for this Mass. Bless all these people, Lord. May your grace abound in them, and through your blessings, may they grow day by day in their faith. For this grace we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, today you have spoken to us of three conditions that make a true disciple, a perfect disciple. And you have given Mother Mary as a role model. And you have talked to us that the one should know the will of God and the one should have detachment and the one should always perfectly follow you, listening to your every command. May we have all these three qualities and truly follow it in our life and truly become your disciple 
for this grace we pray lord, lord hear our prayer lord, lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer lord we surrender all our personal intentions especially in this hard times of corona virus sometimes difficult to take any decision sometimes many people are infected and some fall victims to this corona virus lord i surrender this whole universe and especially our india and all the states those states where this corona virus is playing havoc i surrender all these states i surrender these telugu two states andhra pradesh and telangana and all those who are who are contaminated or infected by corona lord touch them and heal them i surrender all those sick people touch and heal them i surrender every christian family every catholic family and all those who are participating in this mass may your grace be with them and strengthen them and may you free us from this corona virus may we always enjoy good health and always increase in our faith we make this prayer through christ our lord amen, amen. sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name for our good and good of all his holy church. O God, who in the one perfect sacrifice brought to completion varied offerings of the Lord, accept we pray this sacrifice from your faithful servants and make it holy as you bless the gifts of Abel so that what each has offered to the honor of your majesty may benefit the salvation of all through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God. For in goodness you created man, and when he was justly con condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God, God of hosts, host, heaven and earth, the full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us 
the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Christ, Christ, Christ is risen. Christ, Christ will, will come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and bread of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, and Tumabala our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Anthony of Padua, and with Lawrence Brindisi, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and found by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who art, art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come. Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the, for the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that, that you should enter under my, my roof, but, but only say, say the word, word and my soul shall be healed.
prayer of spiritual communion my jesus my jesus i believe that i believe that you are present you are present, present in the most holy sacrament in the, in the most, most holy sacrament. sacrament i love you above all things i, I love you above all, all things and i desire to receive you and, and I, i desire, desire to, to receive, receive you into my soul into my soul since i cannot at this moment since i cannot, I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally receive, receive you sacramentally, sacramentally come into my heart spiritually come in to my heart spiritually i embrace you i embrace you as if as if you were already there you were already, already there and unite myself to you holy and unite, unite myself to you holy never permit me never, never permit, permit me to be separated from you to be separated, separated from you amen amen, amen. the lord of sea and sky i have heard my people cry i will moon and dark and sin my hand will save i who made the stars of night I will make the darkness bright who will bear my love to them whom shall I send here I am lord is it a Let us pray. 
graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Prayer to St. Anthony. Kindly look, look at the screen. O Holy St. Anthony, O Holy Saint Anthony, you are known for the power and abundance. You are known for the power and abundance of your miracles. Of your miracles. Jesus came into your arms. Jesus came into your arms as a humble little child. As a humble little child. Pray for me to the child Jesus. Pray for me to the child Jesus. For my needs and desires. For my needs and desires. Kindly mention your intentions. In imitation of our Lord. In imitation of our Lord. You have great mercy and compassion. You have great mercy and compassion. For sinners. For sinners. Pay no attention. Pay no attention. To my unworthiness. To my unworthiness. But instead. But instead. Ask God. Ask God. To show His glory. To show His glory. Through the answer of my request. Through the answer of my request. Saint Anthony. Saint Anthony. You cooperated. You cooperated. With the grace of God. With the grace of God. In a radical way. In a radical way. With your life. With your life. You gave everything to Christ. You gave everything to Christ. And to your neighbor. And to your neighbor. Your life glorified God. Your life glorified God. You are an example of holiness. You are an example of holiness. That I will try to follow. That I will try to follow. You are in heaven. You are in heaven. Praising God. Praising God. With a particular closeness. With a particular closeness. To the King of Kings. To the King of Kings. With your seat of honor. With your seat of honor. Please beg God please beg God to both answer to both answer my request my request and bring me and bring me to eternal rest with to you. eternal rest with you our father what in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this is today our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, God pray, pray for, for us sinners, sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As, As it was in the beginning, beginning is now, and ever shall, shall be, or without end. Amen. Amen. In honor of St. Anthony, St. Anthony, pray, pray, pray for, for us. St. Anthony, pray, pray for us. St. Anthony, pray, pray for, for us. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, good afternoon to you all. We are very happy to announce that starting from tomorrow, for 40 days, Divyavani channel, for two purposes. First of all, to thank the Lord as we are going to celebrate the fourth anniversary of Divyavani TV on the 31st of August. So, starting from tomorrow, for 40 days, we have special Masses every day in English at 12 noon. And second purpose is, as Corona is affecting everyone's life, both individually, as a family, and as a society, and as universe, what are the lessons for life that we can learn from coronavirus? So, for 40 days, we have these themes, lessons for life from Corona that we have to learn and reflect. So, every day from 1 o'clock, 12 to 1 p.m., we have the Mass in English. Uh, every day, we have different priests with the different uh, themes. And in the evening, every day, from 6 to 7, we have Telugu Mass and followed by one hour of Eucharistic adoration and blessing and we request you to kindly participate with the family without missing a single day for 40 days because 40 is a biblical number of completeness so we request you to also to offer masses for your intentions and if you don't get divyavani on cable you can always go to your smart tv and log on to our website 
on the website from your smart TV, you can watch live masses, divyavani.tv, that's the website, and also from the mobile apps. And if you miss it, you can also go to YouTube and uh, you can go to our archives and see all the masses and programs. And also encourage everybody for the next 40 days in preparation for the fourth anniversary of our TV channel. Thank you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you. The Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. To God. Follow the Lord and find freedom To love as He loved and bring peace To spend our lifetime for His kingdom To want it to grow and To search for the truth never ceasing To look for a star in the night To knock at the door never tiring To wait eagerly for His love To follow the Lord and find freedom To love as He loved and bring peace To spend our lifetime for His kingdom to want it to grow and increase